Aha, finally decided to get up? Yeah, so what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you, but if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Sure, let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? <gasps> Cloud! Over here! Let's get started then, shall we? Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. You made it! All in one piece? Sorry we're late! For the love of... Where the hell have you two been? On a date! Kind of. What? Uh... Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. Got that? Uh, oh. Now, let's move! I don't know about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that, not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know. In a vase, at Seventh Heaven. And I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl. Especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Noted. Water under the bridge. But next time... We've come so far, but it still feels like Midgar's right behind us. We were his prisoners, me and my mom, Ephalna. He kidnapped us because she was a Cetra. A specimen for his experiments. And after what he did to her... After all the pain and the horror he put us through... I hate him. Sometimes, I imagine the things I'd do to him if I got the chance. I start thinking things so dark and ugly that it scares me. Everybody's got someone they hate. It's normal. Is it? It doesn't feel normal. What I'm trying to say is worry about the future when it comes. You'll know what to do. And whatever you decide, I'm with you. I 
appreciate it. <laughs> Shall we? No need to worry about the future till it comes. Not until the moment arrives. And when it does, I'll be counting on you. Good. Not you. That was to her. My future self. Can't say when you'll meet, but trust me, you'll love her. Just you wait. What? Nothing. Never mind. You're still under the weather, huh? No, I'm fine. Sleep helped. <laughs> so does that mean you'd be up for a little sightseeing with yours truly? Just so happens the Skywheel's running a special for couples. For couples? As in... I'll leave that up to your imagination. It's more fun that way. Wow. Talk about classics. beautiful. Check the schedule for more details about our up hmm? Do you know her? I do. That's Jessie. She died fighting for Avalanche. You know she was an actress? Yeah. She was a good friend. Not that I deserved one. Just a friend? Or a girlfriend? You can be pretty dense when it comes to that kind of stuff. She gave as good as she got. Never cut me any slack. And yeah, just a friend. Sure was that black and white? I don't follow. You, young man, still have a lot to learn, right? Speed racing. Honestly, darling, if you wanted to spend time with me, you only had to ask. What are you doing in this place? Why, celebrating, of course. <laughs> My little jaunt to Costa del Sol proved fruitful Aww. and now I'm flushing all that gill down the toilet I swear every time one of Sam's chocobos takes first probably doping his birds the con artist <sighs> enough about me though what about you surely you've got better things to do than listen to me vent like paying attention to your girlfriend <laughs> go have fun before she gets bored with you. Huh. Whatever. Come on, let's get in line. <laughs> what? What's going on? I... Uh, I don't know. Your attention, please! We are currently experiencing some minor technical difficulties. While our technicians are working hard to resolve this issue, for your safety, we ask that you follow all staff instructions. Over here, folks. Our friendly cast members will show you the way. Thank you so much for understanding, and have a wonderful day. Cloud, we've got trouble. Oh, hi, little guy. What is it? Get to the Coliseum, on the double. Because between you and me, there's been a wee shooting in the lobby over there. And the word around the saucer is that a man with a gun for an arm was the perpetrator. I'll round up your pals for you, all right? Now get going. There's not a moment to lose. That can't be true, can it? Let's go find out. Those are some pillow marks. You must have been out like a light. <sighs> you know, there's a showing of Loveless about to start. And I've got two tickets to it. We should go. Plus, you and I have unfinished business. Wait, what? The Skywheel, silly. Remember, we didn't get to ride it before. What about the others? Forget about them. For now, anyway. Oh. <laughs> Come 
on. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! Alfred! Are you unharmed? Rosa! How did you find me? Your woeful cries could not fail to reach mine ears. Take not another step, gentle princess. Barbados. Oh ho! Would the cur defy his captor? I, by the grace of the goddess, as she has set me free, even now. So too shall she guide my blade! My love. Alfred. Ah! Cease the charade! Love is not but an illusion. Bereft of wings and broken, I consign you to the abyss. An inspiring victory, truly. Proof that love indeed conquers all, is it not? <laughs> What awaits you at journey's end, I wonder? Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance till your frayed strings break. And you can dance no more. Alfred, look. Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But... Please be safe. Rest assured. I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait, for I know that I will find you here. What do you think this does? Wow! This is incredible!
Check it out. This is insane. Chocobo racing's nothing like that. Well, you would know. <laughs> It's all so much. Isn't it? You surprised me at first. You were just like him, and... It wasn't your face or your clothes. It was you. The way you walked, the way you carried yourself. Whenever I looked at you, I saw him. But you're not him. And that's okay. Because right now, I want to be with you. And I'm trying so hard to find you. But I'm right here. Yeah, you are. But... Hey, did Tifa talk to you? About, um... Hey, um, Aerith? I talked to Cloud. He said he remembers that. How they were friends five years ago. What? I don't think so. At least, not about anything important. Oh. Earth? Just till the ride's over. Hey, thanks for tonight. You're welcome, but I didn't do anything. <laughs> Wall Market Warriors, you and me. We'll show them tomorrow. Yeah. There! It is time! <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> Pretty sappy, huh? Meant every word, though.
This is it, right? Our spot? Bingo. That was easy. I told you it was obvious. Well, you'll have to give me a harder one next time. Oh? Next time? Yeah. Next time. <sighs> At least I know now. Where you and I stand, I mean. Thing is, Cloud, I really like you. But then, like can mean a lot of different things, can't it? Cause there's liking, and then there's... liking. Seriously, what's going on? You've been weird all day. I'm sorry. Whatever happens, don't blame yourself. <sighs> Cloud, thank you. <sighs> Sorry, I'll be okay. But your mom gave that to you. This isn't about me, though. It's about saving the world. And you. So thank you, Cloud. For everything. What is this? It's been fun. <laughs>